Hi guys, it's a beautiful winter's morning here at the Asprey and today we're going to be showing you a great way to fix that slice. You're watching Me and My Golf TV. Okay guys, so today I wanted to actually share a success story with you. Now, we've got a client of mine who, uh, he's had a fantastic year, but he first came to me and he was a horrible slicer of a golf ball. He was a right-handed golfer and he had a massive left to right curve on it, a slice. He would aim well to the left, he'd be well over the top of the swing plane, the club face was really open. So we see a lot of these, don't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. So we wanted, my job really was to get him to hit a draw shape, because that's what he wanted, as soon as possible. So the first thing we did, even though he was aiming to the left, I got him to close the club face as aggressively as possible. Now, by doing that, the golf ball was going a lot straighter, almost a, a straight pull. May, after about five minutes though, it was actually starting to get a bit of a hook on it, a bit of a, a pull draw. Nowhere near the target, but his ball flight had changed considerably. So we then said to him, okay, John, all you need to do now is aim well to the right. So we got him to aim well to the right. His swing plane was still over the top, but he was closing the face. So the golf ball, he was hitting a pull draw into the fairway. So Andy, if you just take your setup and actually aim left for me. I'm left, okay. So from here, so we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. So from there, swinging over the top. So show me the over the top. Over the top, open face, ball starting left, horrible weak slice, no distance. So from there, we got him closing the club face. So turning the club through. Turning the, the club, yeah. yeah, turning the club through the ball better. Nothing, nothing at setup. It was during his swing we were doing this. Yep. We then got him aiming to the right, and he was closing the face, aiming to the right, even still coming a little bit over the top of the of, of the swing plane. But he was hitting the golf ball now in the fairway with a draw shape. Okay, it was a bit of a bizarre way for him to actually get this, but if you've got a slice and you want to play for it, great, aim left. But if you want to change it, you need to change how your relationship between the club and where your swing plane is and where your aim is, should I say. Yeah, definitely. So we just got him in half an hour to hit the ball golfer with a draw. Now, it wasn't strictly orthodox. He was still coming a little bit over the plane, but it's very difficult to get it on the plane anyway. So what we're trying to say to you guys is that if, we, if you want to change your slice, this is a fantastic way of doing it. So first thing I would do, if you've got a slice, get that club turning more, close the face more, then aim right. So if you can close the face enough to get the golf ball bending to the left, then aim right to allow for it. And this is something that worked really well for him. And actually just by getting him to aim to the right, the six months of doing that, actually, we were able to get his golf club on plane as well. Yeah, and I think I think that our job as coaches is to is to find ways that that work for individuals. And yeah. there's, there's not one way for everybody to change no, not slice. At all. There's no okay golden rule that if you do this, it's going to fix your slice. But this was just a great example. Yeah. Of actually, just you know your skills, Pierce, finding out what's going to work for John. Yeah. And what worked for John was rather than changing his golf swing dramatically. Yeah. It was more of a fact, okay, let's square the face up, aim right, and accommodate for some of the, some of the flaws in his golf mm -hmm. swing that can help manage his game better without having to actually break it down and yeah. change it so much. Yeah. And and it's, it was a great example of quick changes, but not loads of work. But get, get, getting him on the fairway with the shot shape that he required, Definitely. even though it was maybe in his eyes a little bit unorthodox. And, and John, you know, he, he, he was struggling, he would have struggled physically to get the move straight away that we wanted. So this was the most straightforward way to do this for him. Yeah, so aiming right. Wouldn't really think you'd think. Okay, you must aim straight. Must aim straight. But it's not always the case. Is it? It's a. It's really just a taking into consideration yeah. what people can do yeah. with the physical limitations yeah. as well. Um, but bearing in mind his swing was over the top, aiming John to the right. Mm -hmm. Actually, and he's playing down the middle of the fairway. For sure, for sure. And this is something he'd been struggling with for five, six years. He hadn't really been able to sort it out. He tried lots of different ways. Um, you know, his playing partners instantaneously saw, a, saw, saw a, a, an improvement, obviously. They, it was a bit difficult because he was aiming right every now and then he'd hit the ball out to the right and they would accuse him of, so, so they'd say to him, well, the reason you hit it right is because you're aiming right. Well, that isn't usually the case. But, you know, so if, if you do slice the golf ball, if you have been struggling to change it, if you've tried lots of different ways of, of, of doing it and they've not been successful, get the golf club, turn it more so the golf ball bends then to the left and then aim yourself to the right. You never know, it might just work. As I say, this is, we wouldn't do that for everybody, but for John, it absolutely helped him. It's a good example of just an idea or what's worked for one client. And yeah. if you, that can help you, then great. For sure, because everyone's different, as yeah. I said earlier. So guys, I hope this helps. This is just something that we've just done. And I've been wanting to do this video for a while now because he has been playing some fantastic golf. Um, so guys, 
post your comments down below. If you've got a, a, a fault in your golf swing that you've been struggling with, send it to us and we'll see if we can give you another perspective and maybe a slightly different way of changing it. So give us a thumbs up if you like the video and we'll see you soon. This hole is very clever. The last place you want to miss this is short <laughs> right. right. Okay, it's a big bunker to a raised green.